here with Vivek Wadwa, tech commentator, award-winning critic, colder, entrepreneur, academic. <laughs> Troublemaker. Troublemaker. <laughs> so we just got off the stage. We talked about trillion dollar opportunities, Latin America and exponential technologies. How would that unfold? There are major advances happening worldwide, and my advice to Latin America was, rather than trying to catch up with India in IT outsourcing, leapfrog them. Go into these advancing technologies, get into robotics, 3D printing, artificial intelligence, and start analyzing big data, start building sensors for health, and, and lead the world rather than following it. That's where the opportunity is for Latin America. What if I were to give you one billion dollars today for you to invest in Latin America? Where would you invest it and why? Can I keep part of the money? No, it's uh, for Latin America. Right, all right. Then what I would do is I would um, focus on enabling entrepreneurs. I would provide seed financing to them. I would start educating them on the advancing technologies. I would set up new labs for 3D printers, robotics. Uh, start teaching children about these advances. I would start giving tablets to children with, with learning apps. What about self-driving cars, Google Glasses, all this artificial intelligence? Would we be outsourcing all that to Latin America? Can we? Should we? All of these things need apps. Even if we have self-driving cars, we're going to need apps to keep us busy while the cars drive. We're talking about Google Glass. Well, Google Glass is just a technology. What about the apps to do something useful with that? What about translating what someone says to me dynamically in, you know, um, into different languages? What about uh, location-based services for these things? So all of these technologies are just a, a platform on which to build apps. Why can't Latin America be leading the charge in all this? Why does Latin America have to wait for someone else to do it? They can start getting these technologies right now. It's not expensive to bring in Google, Google Glass or to bring in 3D printers or, or robots and start building for them. As far as the self-driving cars go, my prediction is that in the United States there will be a lot of hurdles because uh, the first time the self-driving car hits a human being, people will go crazy and say these cars are evil, take them off the roads. And then just like happened with Tesla where you have states trying to stop them from coming in because they threaten dealerships, well these are going to threaten a lot of industries. So you'll have out of control politicians trying to stop technology. Latin America doesn't have the same obstacles. Why can't um, you know, Ecuador? or Peru or Chile now become a home for the self-driving car. So tell Google that, look, we will um, throw, have no obstacles, our country will support you. Let's make this a test bed for these technologies. Latin America can lead. That's a message. So the future looks good for Latin America. The future can look good if Latin America gets out of its own way. If Latin America stops the obstacles that it has to entrepreneurship and, and government regulations, it can lead. Such good news. Thank you for your time. Thank you.